We're back with more of the WHHI News. Although Hurricane Helene is not going to impact us directly, certainly we're going to have tropical storm conditions. What do you do if you think, I might take a trip to the beach? Should I go on the water? Well, Mike Wagner from Shore Services here. What about it, Mike? I mean, do you have flags flying out? If so, we're talking Thursday, Friday. What do they mean if they're up? So we have red flags up uh, due to a high risk of rip currents and also just a, there's a high surf advisory. Um, and the, one of the biggest things that we see is when we have hurricane conditions and there's those bands coming. Yeah, that come in of rain thing, or wind or whatever. And they're, they're quick. They're just yeah. like that. And you go from it's pretty calm to very rough very quickly. Uh, so we just advise don't don't go in the water today. And if you do, it just wait around a little bit. A little not, bit up to the knees or something. Yeah, at most. Um, let's talk a little bit about. So you're saying like if I decide, because I'm a pretty good swimmer, mm -hmm. but if I decide to go in, those conditions could change so rapidly, I might really regret it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, that can change very, very quickly. What about a riptide? So say I get caught in water, I mm -hmm. start to get swept out a little. I know it's advice, don't try to fight it and swim back right. to shore, but what do I do? Uh, swim sideways out or just float and the rip current should kick you out. Um, but sometimes it's not even the, the rip current. Sometimes you just get, it just gets difficult to get in even if you get knocked over by a wave. Just because the surf's tough exactly. or you get that undertow that keeps pulling you back in too. Exactly. Um, I, I hate to ask you to recall uh, situations where things have happened in the past, but have we had issues when we've had other tropical storms or say uh, Matthew when, yeah. when people have not heeded advice? Yeah, we haven't had um, over the years too much difficulty with that, but uh, you know, we've had you definitely get people that decide they should go out. I mean, I remember on on canoes and stuff like in kayaks, we've had to go. <laughs> Got to give fetch it a whirl people. and not a bright yeah. idea. And it, and it can be that thing where I, I do recall one where I was quite far out and it was calm at the time, but you could see the the storm was coming, and we had to go get them before the um, Man, before so the storm came He's not only in. putting himself at risk, but all of your crew as well exactly. when something like that happens. Uh, You've seen a lot of this in the past. Uh, what about boogie boarding? That's really a big thing. And people that love to boogie board or surf, we don't get those big waves a lot. So for them, it's so yeah. tempting. Yeah, I, my advice on that is unless you are an extremely good surfer, don't go in the water. Um, and really, it's like, yeah, the waves are different than normal, which you know, that's going to be more of a challenge that's if they do go That's going to throw you in. off, right? Exactly. Yep, yep. And then, you know, really, it's today's a good day to go look at the water, but not go in right. if they want to see what, what the, the hurricane's doing. How do we know when it's going to be okay to go back in? What, you know, we, we're doing this on Thursday. It'll air mm -hmm. on Friday. How will we know it's a okay for you to put your feet back in or go swimming in yeah, the ocean? Yeah, we'll, we'll have our people out on the beach, uh, and we'll fly flags whether, you know, on our trucks that are mobile and in places where we have lifeguard station, we'll, we'll fly those flags as well. Uh, we also post, anytime we've got red flags up, we post it on our Instagram and Facebook. Yep. Speaking of your Instagram account, we're going to diverge here for a moment because I ran a story in the news. Yep. A rattlesnake near Sea Pines Beach Club on the beach slithering around in yeah. the sand. You guys captured video if anyone wants to see it. Yeah. Uh, Instagram account or actually islandpacket.com posted as well. Oh, what the heck happened? Who spotted it? Uh, one of the, the, I don't know for sure if it was one of our lifeguards saw it first or somebody reported it to him, but it, it happens every now and then. They're very I mean, poisonous though. Oh yeah. 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 He I wasn't mean, a little guy, was he? I think, uh, my, the, the estimate I got was about three feet long. Oh, he pretty, looks bigger than that he does, in that video. He does. Pretty thick, though. But this has <laughs> happened before. I, I read somewhere once one came out of the surf, and they can swim, which I they didn't They can know. swim, which Isn't uh, this is fun? Yeah, no, really. a little disconcerting. But uh, I'd say, you know, every couple of years, it yeah. seems like we're dealing with yeah. one on the beach. And then wildlife management from Sea Pines came and yep. made sure everybody was A-OK. -okay. Absolutely. Actually, my neighbor next door, we live near the beach. Uh, the lawn guys found a huge one there. They actually skinned it, and I think they sold the skin. I don't know if that's uh, legal or not, but yeah, I don't no, know no, who they yeah. were for sure. Anyway, it's always great to have you here. Stay Good safe. Here. I know you help keep us all safe. Mike uh, Wagner of Shore Service, thanks so much. Thank you. And we will be back in just a moment.